Bunny, and today I'm gonna be doing my Beauty 5 Beauty Box Beauty Unboxing. It's gonna be beautiful, it's gonna come in a box, and we're all hopefully gonna enjoy it. I actually did get this in the mail before I went to LA, so that's been like 9, 10, 12 days ago, so let's hope it's still relevant. So I just sliced the tape, but I have no idea what's inside of here. I was saving the opening live, semi-live, for the camera. Uh, so, opening for the first time. Ah! And this almost looks like a Christmas card, so this may be beyond the point of relevance, but I don't know. Hopefully it'll be a good one. So we have a little sack. Nah. Uh, it actually looks like there's some freaking awesome stuff in here. And then I'm noticing one thing that looks like a product that's stuck in the bottom of the box. So let's see what this is. This is by Masquerade. <laughs> you guys are very clever. Uh, Masquerade Hydrating Facial Sheet Mask. And it's so ironic that I got one of these because I saw a ton of them at IMATS in LA. I feel like nine out of ten boots had these like paper mask things you put the whole thing on your face and it looks like a gigantic Bior strip and then you rip your face off afterwards and I really wanted to try one but I couldn't decide what type to try and I couldn't commit like the two dollars that it was to try one but I'm glad that I have one now it looks like mayhem I'm excited so moving right along into this little pouch and the product that sticks out to me the most is a roll-on fragrance and this is cherry blossom and it's by <gasps> oh my goodness uh, it's by Demeter and I have not gotten a Demeter fragrance in so long I don't know if you guys have ever heard of them before but they're the fragrance company that has all the insane fragrances like dirt and play-doh and freshly cut grass and just like so many crazy things that you're not quite sure if you want to smell like it or not uh, but cherry blossom sounds good so let's just go ahead and roll this little puppy on see what this smells like this is nice it really does kind of have I don't know why I mean maybe because this was like a Christmas thing I don't know if this is a Christmas thing or not but it kind of does have a Christmassy kind of smell like Christmas trees and Christmas candy but it's nice it's not like overpoweringly sweet it's just kind of like a this would make a really good everyday fragrance or if you just wanted to keep it in the bottom of your bag something like that I think that this is really a wearable fragrance which is kind of a stupid way to describe some I mean obviously it's wearable but you know like an everyday kind of wearable thing they used to sell tons of Demeter fragrances at Ulta they don't anymore at least not in my Ulta which kind of sucks because I used to like to go in and get all the different Demeter fragrances um, so I'm very grateful for this because it's fun and it smells nice and I love perfume I do next thing that I'm seeing is a brush and this looks like a flat top I'm assuming that you could use this for a powder or if you wear mineral makeup this does say everyday minerals on it and I know a lot of the flat top buffing brushes brushes that's usually what people use them for I mean this is a nice little travel size powder buffing brush and it feels you know soft and nice and like something I maybe like to rub on my face I think that this is a pretty good thing for a little beauty box to include normally you don't get anything that's like sustainable that you can use over and over again so that's nice I like things like that next is a 3d 3d loose eyeshadow in diamond glitz and this is by Ofra. I have never heard of that brand before, but let's just open this puppy up and find out exactly what makes it 3D. Ooh, I like this. This looks like crushed up beetles or something. Just that's what everyone wants on their eye. It's kind of almost, I mean, maybe that's why they call it 3D is because it's like a color that looks like many colors in one 
lighting. This looks almost like a bronzy green color. In another lighting, it looks kind of like a purple, iridescent-y kind of green. I really don't know what color this is. You guys tell me. Can you see it? It's really light. Here's Johnny! Here's Johnny. It's a really, really pretty iridescent, but I'm almost inclined to say that maybe this would be good to dust on top of a matte shadow to give it a little bit of shimmer. Uh, it's more like shimmery kind of light reflecting, reflecting, light reflecting, uh, than it is like an actual eyeshadow color. I don't know, if you're a minimalist, this would probably be perfect for your life. Maybe. I'm not a minimalist. I don't know. What am I saying today? Just verbiage falling out of my mouth. And the last thing that I'm seeing is another brand I've never heard of, and it's by Jean-Pierre Cosmetics. And these are exfoliating facial cleansing pads with microbeads. And I have never heard of anything like that in my life, so I'm just going to take one of these out so that we can all see what they look like. This feels really awesomely fabulous and it kind of feels strange and I like that. Here is the side of the pad with the micro beads on it and I can't really tell, it doesn't look like they actually kind of like dissolve, like you know that hand sanitizing soap with the micro beads in it, but when you rub your hands together they kind of like break up and dissolve and go away. I don't think that these like actually come off of this pad, I think it's just something like texturized maybe to cleanse your face a little bit better. And then the other side is just a standard makeup wipe that would probably be better for like around the eye area well then do any of you guys know where the brand jean-pierre cosmetics where i can purchase these oh my god and it says that for 16 pads which is what this is it's only a dollar 99 so that's a really cheap good product i actually kind of like the feel of these better than like standard makeup wipes that i'd like buy from target or something so uh, that's it that's all for this month and uh, i just have to say that my favorite two products are the uh, exfoliating makeup wipes and the demeter cherry blossom rolling on rollerball fragrance but there's not really a single product in this box this month that i'm disappointed with or i'm not looking forward to wearing or trying and i think that this is the first time ever in any beauty box that I've ever unboxed where I legitimately like every single item. Uh, so yeah, there's a first time for everything. Thank you so much to Beauty Box 5 for sending me this box to try and open. I'm not exactly sure how much this subscription is a month. I believe it's $10 and the link will be in the info box if you are interested in this uh, to try it out and subscribe for yourself. They're not paying me to do this. They just sent me the box. Uh, and that is all, folks. So I will see you later, gators. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you're doing. Let me know what you think. As usual, please take a minute to subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family, and give an alligator its wings. Also, if you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyardgirl, or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at graveyardgirl. And I love you guys, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye.